What's up, guys? Seattle Game here, back with another Realm of the Mad God episode. You may see a new character here on our screen. We have a level one wizard, which is because I really don't want to kill off one of my, my characters today, and because we are going to be exploring the world of rotation today. So if you guys don't know, I play in this kind of Cartesian up, down, left, right here, which I've been told is not very good. That there's a better way, which is a sort of polar type of system here. So to enable that, you go to options. For me, my hotkey is O. And then you go here to controls. Allow camera rotation. That'll ungray, well, undark gray. This rotate left and rotate right here. And then you can rotate your camera. Now there's one other thing I want to show you here. This default camera angle here you can set as if you want as well. So, all right, so now we can rotate. Oh my God, that is weird. That is just odd. I've never understood in this game how they have f like front facing sprites for everything but the walls. It seems so weird. Like look at look at the, the gold here and the buy button and the, these pots and all of the characters and the realms here, they're all front facing sprites. And then the walls are all like this isometric 3D thing. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. But we're going to try this. We're going to try this. So where should we go? We should go to Jin, I suppose. So and I, I made a new wizard because if we die, then I really don't care. So, all right. So we're going to get used to this. We're going to get used to this. Maybe, hopefully. And it's probably going to take a little while, but we'll we'll kind of get there. So I think... The, the problem is not necessarily getting used to the rotation, but it's also getting used to using these up, down, left, and right at the same time. And correct me if I'm wrong about that. So that's kind of what, how I understood. You kind of want to do a little bit of both. Maybe use the rotation to keep something on the screen. I am absolutely horrible at this, by the way. Oh, I can't imagine being confused with this. That would be the worst. Oh, God, we're confused. Oh, God, this is bad. This is just, oh my god, all right. This is the worst thing ever. But that's all right, it's just something we have to get used to. Just something we have to get used to. And from what I've heard, you can open yourself up to being a much better player once you get used to the camera rotation. As you can see here, I'm falling back into my regular trap of not rotating the camera, but there's nothing I was really trying to keep on the screen. Um, at least that's the, that's the excuse that I am giving myself. So let's kill this guy. There we go. I'll kill this cube because I don't really care about fame right now. All right. So we leveled up. That's better than it could have been. And I'm also really trying to get used to double clicking to grab stuff. So if you see me not doing that, if you see me dragging, yell at me. Because that is how I'm going to learn. That was a beautiful spell bomb there, by the way. I had to pat myself on the back for that one. So, all right. Cool. We're getting this. We're getting this down. I feel like we need to get pumped up. What's a good pumped up song? You know, the song I feel like we should be singing right now is like, learn to fly. Oh, there I go. Okay, I double clicked. I stopped myself. We're, we're getting there. All right. It's like, learn to, fl to fly by the Foo Fighters. It would be perfect if I would not get copyright notices out the wazoo for playing it on my, my gameplay video. Then I would definitely be playing that in the background right now because that seems like the perfect song for this, you know? But I don't know. What else, what else we got? How about, um, what's another somewhat motivational song that gets you pumped? Like Space Jam. Space Jam. Like, y'all ready for this? And now I'm making everyone sick and want to throw up. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Actually, did you guys see that they're planning on, or supposedly planning on making a second Space Jam movie. Now, if you're not from the 90s, then you don't know how big of a deal that is, probably. So Space Jam is one of those movies that it's just iconic to a generation. And if they're going to remake it, they better not screw it up because there will be so many angry people with pitchforks waiting for them in the streets. Seriously, there will be. And they'll just be hell to pay. I mean, they've been doing pretty good. The Jurassic World wasn't too bad. And um, it was better than, it, than, you know, sequels generally are. Especially ones that are so long ago. 
I mean, the first Jurassic Park came out in the 80s, right? If I remember right. Or was it like early 90s? I don't remember. I couldn't watch it when I was itty bitty because it was too scary, right? And so, and I'm a 90s kid. So, oh, we'll take that as well. That one I don't mind dragging because I'm putting it into a slot. That So, you know, so. But yeah, d uh, Space Jam, I mean, I think they said they're looking at like, was it Kobe Bryant? Or something. I don't remember who they were looking at. Um, but honestly, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard to to um, replace um, MJ. Is that? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, it's going to be really hard to, to replace Michael Jordan in that. I mean, I mean it's going to be weird. That's, that's all I'm going to say. And maybe he'll come back for a cameo or something. Oh, we should be re rotating. Ooh. All right. That's so weird. But I can see the I can see the use for it, especially when you're in dungeons. Let's say you're in a sprite world with this wizard, and I, the reason I I picked the wizard was twofold. One because it's got some range which will allow us to utilize the corners of our screen and slightly off screen. And the second is that it does a decent amount of damage and it's it's range so that we don't have to get super close while trying to dodge. So that's why I I chose the wizard. I handpicked the wizard. And it's just a fun class to play, you know? Okay, so we should be trying to rotate and keeping him on screen like that. All right, I think that's the main use for this. Nothing good there. But, so yeah, so just Space Jam. I really actually, I'd be excited if they re if they redo it, you know? But I'd be, I'd be very, very distraught if they did it bad. You know, kind of like how they did it with the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. That was just an awful, awful movie. And it just kind of ruined the Indiana Jones franchise. It really did. There's so many people who hated that movie. I don't think anyone actually really liked it, except for maybe the people who received the money for making it. Just, you know, for the fact that they got millions of dollars or whatever for making that garbage of a movie. But the, the movie itself was just bad. It was just bad. But I, I'd be excited for a Space Jam. I'd go see it. I'd go see it. Just for the sheer, you know, just for the sheer rose-tinted glasses, you know, effect. What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like retro. What's, gee, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, where you like something because you used to like it when you were a kid. My mind is completely gone blank. I've lost my train of thought. The train has been derailed. I don't even remember. What's that called? I don't remember. So when you're trying to think of something and it's like right there in your grasp and you can't think of it, that is because your brain is trying to help you out by blocking things that it thinks that you don't want. And in the process, it blocks the things that you do want to know. And so it's kind of like scumbag brain like, just blocks what you actually want to know. I know I'm taking a huge amount of damage there. I'm just trying to learn how to rotate, guys. So, give me a break for a video, too. Oh, that was a better robe. Oh, and a better staff. Oh, uh, let's not die while we pick up stuff, Sea Otter. That would be awful. Uh, and we'll take that as well. Thank you. All right, another Sandsman King up here. We're going to try that. Plus, you know, the music in Space Jam was just so iconic, too. You know? So we had the the one that's like, Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got our real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. That one, you know, and that's the same one that's like, Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. That one, yeah, if they don't start the movie with that, I'll be, I'll be distraught, you know. I'll be surprised, you know, I'll be disappointed. You know, that's something that one of my friends, Gameface Max, uh, who's also a very, very good YouTuber. He does a lot of Nintendo, early Nintendo stuff and just some sort of like retro games. And he actually, I wouldn't even say exclusively retro games. He does a lot of newer Nintendo stuff, too. But he's really very entertaining. Uh, and he, he was tweeting out that they were looking at making a new Space Jam movie today and all this information and stuff. And so that's kind of what got me thinking about it. The, the way that these cactuses and stuff are rotating is freaking me out, man. All right, let's, let's try and kill this swarm. Oh, God. Swar a swarm? Those are hard enough to hit when I don't have to dodge in a weird, freaky, rotatey way. 
Well, all right. Well, let's, I guess we'll teleport closer. We might as well. All right. Let's try. Oh, no. Now we're at the, the, the king, which is better. I think we can do that. Wait, we're level six. Honestly, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I did not foresee me making it this far without dying. And maybe it's because I've been using the Cartesian coordinates as a crutch as well. Uh, nothing there that we need. Is this? That's the... Oh, I will take that. Thank you. And I've been using the Cartesian up, down, left, and right as a crutch. But I'm okay with that. You know, we're learning. We don't have to get it all in one fell swoop. So... Here we go. Uh, I will definitely take a ring of defense over the dexterity ring. Excellent. Thank you, game. That'll help me survive slightly more. It's only plus three defense, so not much, but a little bit. And, you know, every little bit counts sometimes. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be able to find a, what's it called there? Uh, forbidden jungle in here. That would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing with stuff. I'm, I'm assuming that the snake is, is deceased. It's already been conquered and killed. There we go. Level seven. All right, we're doing this. Uh, do we want... Yeah, let's do that. Let's we'll drop that. We don't need it. Perfect. All right. Let's 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 head over here. We got the dwarf king. Yeah, dwarf king. He's up here waiting for us. Um, looks like that's where this guy's headed as well. Forest creatures. I'm finding it extremely hard to dodge this way, though. I, and I think that's just going to come down to practice. And maybe what I just need to do is practice off camera so that I don't make a fool out of myself, you know? Because right now, this is just awful. Which is okay. Which is what we would expect, honestly. And if, if you thought it would be better my first time rotating, then you're just fooling yourself. So I, I had very low expectations for myself. So I am performing, to me, above average for for this being the first time. That is a lot of knights. We have three. Oh, no, we have two and a warrior. All right. Maybe they can help us out here. Oh, is there another, is there another snake in here? Because, oh, those guys. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a snake in here. And those guys are very, very deadly. And we might die. Where's the snake at? I'll take that. Thank you. I see the, the baby snake. So the snake's got to be in here. Maybe someone killed it, though. Who knows? These things... Yeah, this is going great. This is going great. I know. Um, all right, let's head back. I'm now trying to exclusively use the rotate and not use any other keys other than maybe back up. Oh, that is just odd. That is just odd. Backing up and rotating. I'm going to give myself a brain tum tumor doing that or something. I don't even know. I don't even know. That's all right. Horn Drake. We're coming for you, Horn Drake. Oh, hello. Lizard gods. I feel like we're in a very precarious situation here. We are surrounded by large damage dealing things at level eight. So save me rotating screen, you're my only hope. All right. Oh, and this knight will help us out too as well. Honestly, it'd probably be a good idea to go in there, but I, don't, I think I would die if I do. Did the knight go in there? Let's check. Let's check and see if the knight went in there. Because if so, this might not be... Oh, yeah, he did. Okay. So this is... Oh. Oh, God. I was hitting E instead of R. It was like, no, that's not how you nexus. You dumbo. All right, let's, let's head... Ah, oh, that's going to be the weird thing is it's going to be rotated weird when we come in here. So that's something else we're going to have to get used to. Navigating. Because back then, I had my my character just pointing north all the time, and now he's pointing every which direction. That's all right. This, just more stuff we have to get used to, right, guys? Right, guys? I mean, we're only 15 minutes in. We're not going to be pros at this. So. And I would say don't expect this rotating to be in any of the new videos for a little while. I'll probably keep practicing it off camera 
so I don't make a, a, a huge fool of myself. And the other reason is so we can use our other characters that are all level 20 and have better gear without the fear of me rotating the wrong way or something and killing one of them. So, all right, you know what we need to find? We need to find like an ant because I feel like the ant would be a perfect place to, to practice. They kind of stay stationary in the middle. We can rotate around them and practice on dodging their slow moving projectiles. So if we could find an ant, that would be great. Not an ant god, just an ant. So, oh, gray blobs of doom. Uh, okay, here we go. We got this, this clown here. More gray blobs that want to come and kill us. Is there, a, is there another snake in here? I, you know, I would also take a forbidden jungler right now. Uh, that would be something that, oh, there's a snake in here. Okay. Cool. Let's grab that. Yes, I know I dragged it, whatever. Uh, and we have a better one. All right, forbidden jungle. Yes, no, looks like a no. Oh, we got a new spell. Perfect. Perfect. Fact. All right. Let's keep heading this way. What's our next quest? A oh, an ant! That is what I wanted. Oh, don't slow me, please. Please don't slow me. That is not nice. I'm just trying to survive here, guys. I'm just trying to better myself as a Realm of the Mad God player. All right. We got a slightly better. We have a T1 spell instead of a T0. I will take it. I'll take it. I'm not anticipating this character lasting a very long amount. Okay, so let's kill this swarm first. Oh, that was actually significant, significantly easier than it usually is. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Which is, which is nice. I still have Space Jam songs stuck in my head, guys. That's what I get for listening to Space Jam today and for singing it, you know, like 15 minutes ago. So, that's all right. It is an all right song to have stuck in your head. You definitely could do with worse. All right, let's try this out. All right, so let's try and keep him kind of in the corner. Oh, that was easy. I think he helped a lot. All right, then we have the same spell. We don't need that one. Uh, another ent, please. I would like to order an ent to go uh, with, with a large fry. That would be awesome. So... Here we go. Oh, we are gonna die, oh. I just like bashed my fingers against the keyboard there. And it worked out, <laughs> trying to hit that Nexus button. It worked out, we, we are still, we're still kicking. So, although we have no MP, that's all right. I will go back to Jin, why not? Safety in numbers, even though most people are probably in the Godlands. I feel like we could go to the Godlands and use that as a good way to dodge. But at the same time, it's a good way to die. So, you know, which is which is all right. I mean, if we die, then it's not a big bummer. I mean, we don't have good stuff on this, this guy, really. Let's see if we can kill this. See if we can dodge around and kill. Now, the good thing is it looks like most most enemies here... Oh, excellent. Don't need that. Most enemies here are, in fact, shooting at us. So when we kind of dodge around in a circle here, they have a very hard time hitting us, which I believe is the reason, one of the good reasons to, to rotate like this. Okay, that is going to be very painful. Let's kind of run away and rotate at the same time. Oh, we got two. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just don't freak out, Otter. Freak out and you die. Oh, we are surrounded. I'm getting out of there. I was stuck on a bush in the middle of higher level things. I don't need that. Thank you, though. All right, let's head this way. I think one or two more. We might make a slightly shorter episode, but we'll see. We'll see. It's like 11, so. Okay. That was almost instantaneous death. And we should probably find a bigger group. They're this way. Okay. So I've done what I've said that I wasn't going to do. However, oh God. However, at the meantime, 
if we if we can survive this and figure out how to dodge, we should be pretty good. And this, what what a better place to learn to dodge than the Godlands? Because if you don't dodge, you're dead. So, All right, here we go. Need to find some stuff, some stuff and things to kill. Maybe over this way, over yonder. Oh, what light over yonder window breaks. Okay, okay. So, this is like the perfect spot. Except for the ant, not ant, yeah, the ant god. To practice rotation. Rotation OP on, okay, getting out. Rotation OP on those, those medusas there. Of course, if you've played this game for any length, you already know that, so. All right, I feel like we are getting more proficient at this. I feel like we have a long way to go. And, oh, here we go. I feel like we have a long way to go. And that we also need to learn to use up, down, and left, right. At the same, oh, 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 oh. 40 health. I am the master of nexusing. And I'm going to knock on wood there. Um, oh, is that the same one? Oh, perfect. Someone else can have that. I'm the I'm gonna knock on some wood because that can come back and bite me in the ass here later. Let's not go back to the Godlands. Let's head over to where this guy is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We're level 12. Honestly, I could see us actually getting to level 20. Not in this episode, mind you, but just with this character. And it might not be a bad character to just have. I might make this my rotation character just as a way of, you know, practicing. But that way, if, if we die, we don't lose anything bad. Of course, until we get good stuff, and then it'll be detrimental to, to our play style to, to die. But for now, we got what? A T5 robe? That's that's basically exactly middle tier, so, so who cares, right? I mean, we have a pretty nice staff. It's a T7. It's... Higher middle tier, I guess is what I would call it. Still not anything important or, you know, expensive in any way. In fact, we found it on the ground. Someone was nice enough to just toss it down for us. Which is why I like to toss stuff down for other people as well. I feel like, you know, give back to the to the people who, who help us as well. Although, usually they probably don't actually want what we have. T2 rope, no thank you. All right, I think this will probably be our last adventure in. So once we once we get going here, then we'll stop. So, all right, we're t we're level thirteen. I I keep saying T instead of level. Oh, I will take that one, thank you. Uh, but it looks like somebody killed this ant already, which is unfortunate. Let's see if we can make it to this ant. We'll we'll kind of zoom in our map. Perfect. All right, let's keep going. I feel like we're getting the hang of it. The The problem that I have is that having my fingers on the Q and the E buttons is so completely unnatural for me from having them on W, A, S, and D. It's just so, it's so weird. It's just so odd. And so even though, you know, I'm getting used to it now, switching back to doing left and right after doing rotating is just, is, is an odd feeling. Oh, we got a purple bag. Maybe something good. Let's see. Attack ring. I feel like our our wisdom, or actually magic ring, actually not wisdom, is a better fit for this character. Let's kill this shambling sludge. Oh, we're slowed. All right, we're. I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing all right. Let's let's head over here. Let's kill these guys off really quick. So that they don't, perfect. So they don't, you know, bother me here at the end. And let's let's attack this end. And I think once we kill it, that'll probably be the end of this episode. Although it looks like we have some visitors here who might mess up our plan. I'm hoping that they don't make it super buffed. And it sounds like that's what they're after. Please don't super buff it. I'm okay with normal buffed, I suppose. But super buff is no bueno for me right now. Please don't. 
All right, I feel like, okay. Excellent. That went better than expected. Don't need any of that. I think we're gonna call it there. I mean, I feel like we made some progress today. I feel like it is the first step in the right direction of many steps to master this technique. So, and possibly if you're looking at picking up this game and you're new to it, possibly think about going this route from the beginning so that you don't have to unlearn what you've been what you've been doing and you can just oh, where are we now? We're in the godlands. Okay. So you don't have to unlearn, right? There we go. All right, I'm going to Nexus. That is all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle to rotate my screen like a noob. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys very much. And I will see you guys in the next episode.